Hello and welcome to The Long View with me, John Jordan. So we're playing Dawn of Titans, the game from Natural Motion. And published by Zynga or will be published by Zynga when it's live so I have to point out this is still in soft launch been in soft launch for almost two years now <laughs> which is the longest uh, game has ever been in soft launch that we've tracked so far um, coming out this year 2016 <coughs> we expect anyway so here we are um, this is my base so very much base wise a kind of a build and battler so you build a base resources have gold and uh, food wheat whatever you want to call it um, we can see here very much um, struggling to get enough gold and have loads of uh, food <laughs> which is why you can see here we can't actually um, harvest all the all the wheat we get um, but gold is <coughs> running low so um, part of the reason that is um, use the gold to upgrade buildings which you're doing a lot and you're using the wheat to create uh, battle units which as it transpires you're not doing so much so um, it's telling me to, I need to upgrade my farm I don't quite know why but there we go we can just see here upgrading the farm so we can see the requirements to be able to do that I meet them so off we go so in terms of um, the building side of the game it's very linear really um, it's not like a, a clash of clans where you have a lot of freedom to build walls and such like this is something you can see here a floating kind of island looks very pretty there's a waterfall not that that seems to really matter in the big scheme of things but it looks very nice um, <coughs> castle is the main unit so you can see here if I want to upgrade my castle I need have to have granary and gold mine at certain levels which I do have and have a certain amount of gold which I don't have um, but if you upgrade the castle, then basically just it's like a waterfall uh -huh, of um, up, then upgrading all the um, different items you have. So I won't go too much into um, battles and such like at the moment. But um, the big thing I've done recently, so I guess we're on, where are we at the moment? We've been playing this for over two weeks, or I've been playing this, just say really, for over two weeks. Maybe about three weeks now. Um, so I've just joined an alliance. Hooray. So alliance does change stuff. Um, quite a bit so we can see for the first time here that my um, base was attacked so my garrison was looted I lost some VP <clears throat> kind of like an XP kind of thing kudos whatever I lost some gold and lost some food and the nasty attacker was this um, Chinese gentleman or gen uh, lady I suppose but probably Chinese gentleman um, so there we go so um, let's go and do some alliancey type stuff. So with the alliance, we can go here. We have um, suddenly the global chat comes on. We have the us usual useless, <laughs> um, sexist, um, not too sweary, but um, I can't read Chinese. Anyway, so we have people commenting. Here's my alliance commenting. So um, thanks for the troops, says Kratos. Um, so obviously the big thing about alliances is you can um, gift people troops. Um, so let's see what we can do here. What are we, anything I need to do? Social quest. I don't want me to join Facebook. Don't do that. Oh, treasure room. So I've. What I have to do here? Can't collect. Make sure I have enough space. Okay, because that's some um, food which I can't collect at the moment. So let's maybe go and do some battle type stuff. So this is the. Um, you can see here this is our alliance so we are Odin's alliance um, and uh, there's me here so I can go and collect my gold so this is my main floating island and my city I suppose as they say and then I've got these other little islands that I've collected resource islands um, and then uh, so on my I'm level 8 this chap here is level 6 and he's got a few islands and he or she's level 5 oh. And he's level six. And that guy I was talking about before, or Lady Kratos, is uh, level five. So I'm actually the highest level player. So let's have a look around what else is going on in this floaty island world. Okay, here's another clan. Um, we can see what they've got going on here. Let's go and see. Uh, they're level. Let's go and attack someone else. Okay, let's go and choose, choose the weaker target. 
So we can see here, castle level one, um, they're in, um, so I'm gonna, when you fight, you fight against the garrison, you don't fight the actual kind of um, floating island in its entirety, you just fight the garrison. Um, so we can see here, at the bottom, their defense strength is pretty weak, so they have three, um, so you have a militia and an archer and a pikeman, so that's a rock, paper, scissors kind of thing going on there, but they're very weak, they're level only level one. So I'm going to raid them. I'm going to use up some effectively energy. Energy. So it's called Dawn of Titans. This is the Titan I'm currently using. I've got a bunch of Titans, so we can see here some of my Titans are defending um, my uh, bases. So you can see this. It says defending. Um, I've got a high level Titan, level ten here, um, but I'm currently using my level four one. Try and level him up a bit. So let's stick with him. Um, so now select some troops. So as you can see, you said before, at the moment, <clears throat> and pretty much for everyone, you get the kind of militia archers and spearmen, basically swords, um, swords, arrows, and pikes, I suppose. Um, and then you have these other ones you can unlock, which are non-human ones. So you have panthers, grenadiers, pikemen, and goliaths. Um, you see that it's quite a nice system where it tells you the strength. So my strength is in blue, their strength is in red. Um, so I'm just going to pretty much choose my standard loadout which is two archers and militia and a spear so you can see I can't lose this really um, so there we go there's spells there's no spells at the moment um, it's kind of a part of the game we've not got very far into but you can sometimes you get gifted spells and sometimes you can um, I assume there's some sort of building you better create spells it doesn't happen at the moment reinforcements that kind of comes from um, your your alliance or guild you can uh, request reinforcements, um, but it's kind of limited, so I can't get any of those relics. So relics are something you can a big part of the game actually. So so any build so buildings can have um, relics effectively they're kind of buffs, and the titans can have them. So you can see there's quite a lot of different ones here. I could um, I mean they're quite minor in a sense. A, a ten percent archer resist against physical attack. I mean, it's, it's like, um, so what have I actually got attached? I've got eight percent spearmen. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, let's choose something better than that. Um, no idea what militia critical means. Let's choose that one. Okay, so replacing that one. So we've got a new relic there. You can see I've only got one of those slots is open at the moment. Anyway, let's go into battle. So we'll see the lineup. So we can see here these are my guys. There's my Titan. I've got um, a militia, a, a kind of spear unit, and two archers. I can just do an auto attack. So you can see here the AI basically just chooses. Basically, everyone's going to attack that that single unit. Um, so off we go. So we can see the kind of is it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a full 3D camera, but you can see you can kind of zoom in. It's pretty nice. You can see the uh, Titan is good. Oh, you can see here though that my the, the enemy militia who love to destroy um, archers. They flank around and chomping them up. So I'm losing, but you can see I'm going to win overall. Um, my it looks like my uh, is he going to make it time? No, didn't. So my Titan was was going to come and rescue the situation, but uh, we already won. So there we go, victory um, as expected in terms of our, the different power of the uh, defenders versus attackers. So I get some XP, some VP, some gold and some food and my steel blade uh, titan levels up a tiny bit. So this is a kind of system where um, if, you, if your units are um, not too much um, destroyed in the attack, so we can see my archers and my spearmen were basically didn't take any damage at all. My militia, um, seventy-one percent damage, and one group of archers were entirely destroyed. I can use hard currency and kind of resurrect them, but it basically, as, as I said before, um, to build a whole bunch of more uh, kind of new units, um, I just use the food currency to do that. And there's no if a, if a unit survives, they don't gain anything in particular, so they're fully disposable. So um, it's kind of a weird part of the game where it doesn't really matter at all. So I'm going to ignore all that. And you can see here it says that I looted that um, level, that, that um, flying 
island and now it has a shield on it so um, I can't go and do that again um, so yeah so that's really it so it's kind of the Alliances does add something it's, it's, it's actually quite a lightweight thing so Alliances you have a maximum of five so I think we're up to five now aren't we when I joined it was three but um so Alliance only has at the moment only has five um, people in the Alliance um, so it's quite lightweight in, in other alliances in other games you can have maybe 30 or 50 so it keeps it kind of fairly small um, and it adds something different um, one you can't be attacked <laughs> if you're not in an alliance and two obviously you can't go and attack other people you can attack there's a kind of single player modes and you can go and do a campaign mode or you can basically go and attack um, other floating islands for resources but you don't have the um, they're, not, they're not part of an alliance not part of other players um, uh, kind of cities so that there's a little a little bit of uh, interest so let's go back um, so we can see here <clears throat> this is my garrison so we can see here I've got um, if someone's gonna attack me I've got um, two level three militia I've got one level three um, archers and two level three pikes I can add a defensive army here so I can add I should do this really should I let's go and add um, this chap so he's my titan a level four titan so let's add him here he comes he's got a little bit of a um, little bit of a twitch <laughs> so I've added him as a defense unit now which means I can't use him in um, attacking um, which doesn't really matter that's fine um, so yeah, so that's how we are with Dawn of Titans. So I found Dawn of Titans generally quite slow and quite um, linear in terms of what you can do. There's not a lot of freedom to be creative, um, but it, it you know it keeps ticking over. It, it kind of has the I think it has the daily retention. It is slow, but it kind of keeps coming back, and that's really what matters more, I suppose. Um, I think. It, as we said, it's been in soft launch for two years now, so so it's a little bit slow, I think, in terms of the pace. I think over those two years, game design has picked up a little bit, and you would expect within kind of two to three weeks to be to have progressed a little bit more. Certainly in terms of unlocking titans, <clears throat> the, the game is called Dawn of Titans, so you expect titans to be a big part of it, and I think um, they're not as big a part of it as they could be. As we say, the game is in soft launch; it's not, you know. <coughs> Quite when a, when a game is ever finished these days, um, it's impossible to tell. Um, I think it probably could be um, when the game does go live. I guess live in uh, the US and uh, Western Europe. Although it's you know it's, it's available in a few places <coughs> in Europe. So it's, it's um, you know live in I can't remember exactly ten or fifteen um, different territories at the moment. So that's not like it's being hidden away. So you imagine this is quite close to how the game will actually ship, um, but you can't actually tell that yet. But uh, yeah, I mean, pacing is, is a difficult thing to judge. Um, and when you suddenly go from, I guess at the moment there may be half a million people playing it to a game that when it goes live will probably have a few million people playing it straight away. I'm sure it will be heavily um, supported by Apple. Um, the, the pacing it can be quite important, I think. So um, yeah. That's where we are with, with Dawn of Titans. I think Ali, certainly if you get into an alliance, it kind of speeds things up, gives you more options in the game. I'm always a bit reticent about going into alliances until I play the game a lot um, and really understand it and really kind of feel like I am going to gain something from the alliance, which I think is the case here. Um, so there we go. Um, so thanks for watching the video. So we're we'll doing a lot of analysis of free to play mobile games. That's what the long view is about. That's why it's called the long view. It's about playing mobile games for as long as possible and kind of trying to understand the retention mechanics in particular. Um, so if that's your thing, do um, subscribe and uh, you'll get all this wonderful analysis. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope to see you again soon.